I'm Matt Sargent with ABC Acres out here in Hamilton, Montana. It is a beautiful, crisp day out, and uh, you can see I've got some hay next to me. Uh, this isn't any standard hay. This is barley hay, not to be confused with barley straw. Basically, it's uh, barley that never got combined. And uh, you might be wondering, they're a grass-fed operation. Why do they have barley hay, which has a grain? Well. Today we're going to talk about stacking functions. Uh, you can see behind me, we've got some of these bales unrolled already. We've got a few more that we're going to uh, unload and unroll out here. And we're in our banana pasture. If you've been watching along and following our series, you might have seen pasture quick fix using waste straw. This is the same area. Um, if you saw the follow-up Friday about that, you saw how good the grass grew where we put that uh, waste straw that we picked up from a neighbor. Well, we had been looking at the banana pasture and where we'd put the waste straw a couple years ago, the grass was really good, but the rest of the banana still, uh, the banana pasture still wasn't that productive. Um, so we've been talking about, well, maybe we can find some more uh, waste straw, something that someone had let rot um, that they couldn't use as bedding or anything like that. Um, just try and get some more organic matter on this uh, banana pasture. We know that through rotational grazing over the next year or two or three, we are going to see an increase of productivity, but um, we're, we're looking to accelerate things. So we've been talking about that. Well, then lo and behold, we see a neighbor advertising barley hay at a very cheap price. Um, grain prices are kind of down and he just wasn't gonna be able to get what he had put into it. So we talked about it and we're like, well, is it worth making that investment just to get organic matter on the ground? And then we realized the hay could also help us with another problem that we have, which would be where this is stacking functions. Cause not only are we increasing the organic matter in this pasture where we're unrolling these bales, but another problem that we have is, uh, I mean, we love them. It's hard to think of them as a problem, but we have a herd of about 80 elk that like to consider ABC acres as part of their home, which is awesome. And we're blessed to have them as neighbors. That said, it doesn't matter what kind of fencing we have. They'll go right through it if they feel pressured. And uh, we have had times historically where they've gone right through our cattle wire, cattle fencing. doesn't matter how hot it is. You get three elk at the front, they might be balking at the electricity, but the rest of the elk just keep pushing them. Next thing you know, your fence is gone and you're looking for your cattle the next morning. Really not that fun. Um, so we're gonna actually be using these barley bales to kind of bale graze the elk, not really feed them. We don't have enough to feed them all winter, but try and keep them down here, like use it as a trap crop almost. Um, try and keep our pests over here, that way we can have our cattle on the other end of the property and hopefully the elk and the cattle aren't interacting and the elk aren't knocking down our fences. And the third benefit we get from this is we get to play farm fit. Unrolling these babies by, fun, by hand is uh, it's a good workout. It definitely beats slinging a kettlebell around. So um, that's uh, this week's quickie. Um, oh, the other benefit, yeah. I almost forgot and then I saw these beautiful piles of elk manure. So the elk are eating this. We're going to get some residual <coughs> hay left behind but what they eat is coming out the backside pre-processed, pre-digested, easier for the soil microorganisms to digest. So it's win-win-win. That's what we call stacking functions. Um, if you have any questions, comments, as always we love to hear from you. Give us a shout. Let us know how the weather is treating you, what you're up to at your farm, and if you have any questions. Until next time, happy growing.